In this next kitchen experiment, Lynn and I are going to be looking at how you can precipitate your DNA from saliva, showing that saliva is a lot more complex than just being a liquid. So how do we do that, Lynn? <laughs> so first of all, we have to collect some saliva, which uh, we've actually done in this glass here. And you just, I show you, if you want to do this at home, you just have to, what, what we really want is some of the dead cells that are inside of your mouth mixed in with your saliva. So if you just sort of, squish round in your mouth to just ease them off with just the side of your teeth um, and then just spit into the glass and just collect a little bit. Um, think of something nice to eat and the saliva flows very quickly. Okay. okay, so the next step we need, because we're in the kitchen really, is we just take some washing up liquid. And what this washing up liquid is going to do, if we pour it in just a little bit in here, mix it in, is just going to pop open the cells that are in the saliva, all the little cells that normally line the inside of your mouth. So they're going to pop open the cells and they're also going to pop open the, the nucleus that holds the DNA that makes you you and me me. Okay, so the next step is to take a little bit of salt, just ordinary table salt. We just pop that in. And what the salt is going to do is just going to make things sort of clump together a, a little bit and just help us uh, to see the DNA when it comes out of solution. And then the final thing that's actually going to make the DNA come out of solution is vodka, alcohol. These can be any alcohol, but I'm using uh, vodka because, you can, because it's a colourless liquid and you can see through it but any sort of strongish alcohol will work because uh, DNA will form a, a bit like a solid. It'll precipitate once it's in alcohol. So we just pour some alcohol into here and we just wait and see. Just mix it around a little bit and wait and see what happens. There it is. So those the strands that you can see coming up through here are your DNA and that's what makes you who you are or me who I am but mixed in with here because my mouth is not as clean as it I always like to think it is there are lots of bacteria in our mouth they're the friendly bacteria um, so there'll be some bacterial DNA in, mixed in with mine 